They're back fixed now. The old farm guys. Who won game one? Uh, John, John Brayton. Okay, so, oh, is, is, is it at? Yeah, confirm again if you can hear us in chat. Ewan, I know you're there. Just say hello if you can hear us again. Yeah. Okay, we're on for comps. Okay, so we've got John on Snake versus uh, Red on PT. Currently, 1 0 to John. Uh, I didn't really get to see much of game one. Didn't see how close it was either, but that was a crazy the setup. The C4, C4 loves the C4 setup. Back. John loves the C4 setups, so that's what he always goes for. John is like, uh, he's really smart and, and, until he isn't. That's what I think of him. Yeah. He's like, he does really sick stuff, but he's also an idiot sometimes. So he, like, like, he knows all the advantage state yeah, stuff, yeah, yeah. but unfortunately just doesn't quite have the, the neutral. Exactly, yeah. The yeah, neutral yeah. smarts to, to get that. But that setup was sick if you, like, you know, did it properly. But yeah. um, you just, like, the thing got transferred back. But either way, SPF, I'm pretty sure this is one of Snake's best stages because you can, like, uh, the C4 hits below the platform, I think. Yeah, it does. Um, controls all the space. Really good. But apart from that, I don't really have much knowledge on this match. Nice match talk. Yeah, I'm surprised you've told the kill. Um, I guess try to play. It's a. I, I don't. I wonder. I do kind of wonder how good this matchup is for uh, Pokemon Trainer. I feel like. I feel like it's a bit of a struggle considering. I think Squirtle Snake will beat Snake. I mean, Snake has like the frame one combo break tool with yeah. with grenades, so you have to make sure you're on point. Yeah. It's a bit stupid that that's a trick. Yeah, thing. yeah, it's so uh, fucked up. I don't, uh, yeah, I'm, I don't, yeah, actually. In my head, so this I can, is a, it could be even. In this is an rest. interesting interaction as well because Razor Leaves don't actually pop the grenades. Oh, okay. So he's able to use them to like clank through Razor Leaves and is then go through. It's a threshold for, for grenades to pop. Yeah, they have like a HP value. Oh, okay. Oh, he's done it again. Is he got T4 on him. Oh, oh the switch! Oh. Incredible oh, no, smart side switch. disadvantage yeah, yeah, yeah. from Red. Let's see if next time he gets that set up again, if he reads the switch or not, it'll be. He gets into that situation, but he's off stage. He's gonna go for the standard up smash self. Let's see what the mix up is. Yeah, there it is. Oh, he just died. Yeah, not timing the get up attack properly on the uh, on the up smash there. It's not just that though. It's like sometimes you're just guaranteed to be hit. Yeah, yeah. You really gotta pick your options carefully around Snake on the ledge. Yeah, he's, he's, his ledge trapping is very, very good. It's even insane. even if you just do like what John did, just the standard up smash self, it's like it covers so many options. Red's got to make this back now, but he's taking heavy damage. Yeah, he is. He's nearly looping. Oh, oh he dies okay, off the top. Okay. The uh, Divine Whip takes it. This is probably... He's going to go back to Squirtle. He's oh, going to try. this is really risky. I'm pretty sure Squirtle's dead from up tilt at this percent. Um, Potentially. And maybe a little bit. Depending on how good Red's advantage state is, the, um, John does have the frame one grenade to get out of 100%. Good side juggle, nice switch to protect himself from I don't, uh, I don't think John's played against the PT matchup that much, because a big thing in this matchup is reading the switch, and it doesn't seem like John's been going for it that much. Um, it's definitely a thing you need to look out for. Oh, he's got a boom! He's, oh, he's living though. Dead. They cast kill screens. Oh, it went through two grenades. Uh, yeah. Two, two uh, missiles. It goes through like mad projectiles. Oh, he's not reaching. His up tilt isn't that big. That was like a roll distance. One thing about Red that a lot of people at SQ know is that he loves his, uh, his Flame Blitz. Flare Blitz. Flare Blitz. Oh, the old Smash is going to scoop from behind and take it to a game uh, one, one. three. Alright, going to game three. Probably going to run it back on no, SPF. No character changes. Nope. See if John Brake knows. Kind of the. Kind of knows that he has to be careful in disadvantage. Yeah, I think, like I said, a big thing before is uh, realizing when the PT wants to switch and just calling it out. It's a really easy to call out if you know he's going to do it. I mean, it is, it's as well just keeping keeping Squirtle's advantage state under wraps because John had a huge lead there. Um, but all it took really was like a couple of strings from uh, Squirtle and then it was it, it was back. It was, the lead was 
demolished. Exactly, yeah. Right now it's pretty, I mean, it's pretty even. He's at ledge though, this is where he gets up smash up. Up to the side, he actually hits it. He's probably going to do a switch. So he bounced back off the shield and into the up smash, which I don't know if, you, if that was intentional or not, but interesting interaction. I wonder if he's going to switch anytime soon. Not switching, he's there at 80%. I was surprised he didn't switch. He was on squirrel for a while there. John's been very good with these parry call outs. Ooh, this could be death if he times the down air. Oh, uh, didn't missing. go far enough out, but the Vine Whip is going to knock him away again. See, John the, forced the to go high, the and there's the back air. Tried to go for the no mix up, mix up uh, when he was landing, but unfortunately getting caught out. Ugh. So, yeah, this is just going to be Squirrel again. There's yeah. the grenade to pull him out. I'm so surprised he got that up. I swear Dark Lord Dare is like. It is true, but it's tight. It's yeah. a tight thing. Trying to get some great, great setups there, catching both rolling and roll out, but just mistiming it slightly. He needs to make sure he protects himself uh, from taking self damage because giving Squirrel any opening to get in on you is just asking to put yourself in a world of hurt. Yeah, even at, even at like 80%, the Squirrel still has so many confirms uh, off damage. But this is again, it's going to be a really scary situation. Like 10 more percent, pretty sure up until it's killing here if you get. Okay, yeah. Dying Switch. Not anymore. Smart. At the ledge, what's the mix? Difficult still set. Still staying at the ledge. Or getting the reversal, but. Now we see John in disadvantage. Oh, they, they keep Red's, switching. Doing, Red's doing a good job of anti airing. Great DI to make sure he survived there. Wait, oh, the, oh, Nikita blew him away. Yeah, I think that, that was a free kill punish as well. 100%. Okay. Uh, oh, there's hidden D4 cells. Came below the ledge. Hiding just on the platform. But I guess it's a really good situation here, especially that he's on Squirrel. Squirrel's really only kill options, I guess. Is uh, I think it's F-tilt or down tilt into a tech situation. Yeah, tech situations. And oh, he's going to get one, but he oh, threw the grenade. He didn't get the jab lock. Yeah, um, yeah, exactly. That would be the Squirrel's only kill option. But then, like, now he's got IV, he's got a bunch of stuff he can do. Like, yeah, he can just shark under the platform and exactly. blow him up. Yeah, I can see this stage being beneficial for both players. Like, Ivy probably benefits a lot. I think down air probably hits below the platform and probably yeah, spikes to an up around the stage. Like, um... It's a similar, if not the same, plat height to PS2. Yeah. And I don't know if you've seen much of um, Atelier play yeah, the game, yeah, the yeah. Japanese PT. He always goes for that, like, uh, Spike up there. yeah, the, up there. the drop through down air into, like, jump up there. Yeah. John doing well to start, getting a nice 30% lead, but... John's building damage really well. He just he seems to be really struggling to kill. He's getting hit by Flair, but it's a lot at ledge as well. I feel like he's trying to bait. Oh, oh, terrible spot to put yourself in. But just like that, Red bringing it back to pretty much even, but he's at the ledge against Snake. Oh, I don't, I think he's trying to read the roll there, but yeah, that's another was. like PT uh, matchup type thing that you know a lot of Ivy's go for that. Now Snake's in disadvantage. Charizard's going to be looking for the back. Oh, uh, is that going to be 